You're watching ETL. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our first half review and discussion for season two of The Flash. Yes, it's been a while since we spoke Flash here on the channel. In fact, the last review I did was episode three, Family of Rogues. So <laughs> we're gonna um kind of I got my cheat sheet here. All right, I came prepared because it's been a while since I've seen an episode. And I haven't been watching the repeats, so I, I you know I gotta refresh my memory a little bit. I remember some of the big events, and uh, but you know there's some small details I have to refresh myself with. But uh, first of all, let me give an overall just my feel on the first half of the Flash. Still a very fun show. Still very entertaining. I still love The Flash more than anything right now on TV, pretty much. Um, but the first half of this season has been so heavily weighed on developing Legends of Tomorrow that it's kind of taken away a little bit from the charm. Uh, and I think also the pacing of this new villain we have, which is Zoom. Uh, that's not to say that I don't, you know, I don't love the show. I'm not really hammering it, but, uh, you know, Flash and Arrow are both doing this, and it's both a big, to me, it's a big deal, setting up this Legends of Tomorrow, a show that I believe could probably be set up on its own merits. Uh, but nonetheless, that's how they decided to do it. They did it with Flash going into the Arrow. Uh, you know, to give my quick assessment, because I know some people are probably wondering, I do find Arrow so far this season to be better. I, I will say that much. Um, I think, I think the Legends of Tomorrow development is hurting um, the Flash more than it's hurting the Arrow because the Arrow's had some episodes where we have seen a little bit more. Like for example, the episode with a uh, Hawk Girl and Hawk, uh, excuse me, Hawk Girl and Hawk Man. <laughs> so, uh, which was a big deal. Even though it was setting up the show, it was a very good episode. Uh, but we'll get to that in the Arrow first half review. So, uh, the last review I did was Family of Rogues. So if you want to know what my thoughts were on that uh, episode and the episodes prior, you can check it out on the channel. But, Basically, here are the big things that happened for me in the first half of The Flash. Obviously, the episode was Zoom. Okay, I think it was episode six where Zoom comes in and basically just pummels Barry. I mean, completely embarrasses him in front of Central City, basically, and nearly killed him. I mean, he injured him in a severe way. Barry was on a wheelchair for a while. We know that. And I think when you when you look at how the first half developed, I mean they they did some quirky things, you know what I mean. Uh, but when you look at the the first half, you know we see Barry developing a relationship with Patty, which is a very cute relationship. Uh, nice to see that Iris is not getting in the way of that this time. Uh, we have a new Firestorm, or at least a new half of Firestorm. Now we're seeing. Uh, I'm sure some of you know by now that. Uh, Earth 2's Firestorm is going to be someone very familiar. So, <laughs> without giving it all away, but it's out there. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, Grod, the Grod episode was pretty good. Uh, I'm wondering if there's going to be any repercussions of sending him off. We'll have to wait and see. Um, then we have the crossover episode that came. And I know I'm kind of brushing through everything here. I do remember the Shark King. Uh, that was very bold of them. <laughs> it took me a little bit to get used to that, but it's cool. It's cool. They, they hey, look, if you're gonna have a gorilla running around the city, mind controlling people, why not have a mutated shark, right? So, but here's the big episodes for me in the first half: episode six, episode eight, episode six, which was uh, Enter Zoom, episode eight, Legends of Today. This portion of the Flash Arrow crossover episode, which I'm guessing now is gonna be a yearly thing which I'm more than welcome to. But the Flash version of the episode, to me, wasn't that great. Um, it just, especially when you compare it to the Arrow one. The Arrow one was really, really good, <clears throat> and even dark to some extent, but we'll get into that. Um, you know, this Vandal Savage, obviously, has a big link to Hawkman and Hawkgirl. And, uh, you know, we see that Cisco, and this is a sad thing that Cisco cannot... You know, he find, he meets this girl. She's very pretty. He's feeling her. She's feeling him. Things are all going well. And she's the center of attention, uh, Kendra. Center of attention for Vandal as well as Hawkman who appeared uh, shortly after Barry went to um, Star City to ask Arrow for assistance. Also, there's a whole Harrison Wells thing. Uh, you know, he's got a lot going on. It's going to be interesting to see how he continues to develop. Uh, 
Very interesting enough, too, also, is that uh, if if this is correct, if I'm not mistaken, episode 11 is titled The Return of Reverse Flash. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> uh, very, very interesting. Now, the other thing, too, is we also have Joe and Iris finally meeting Wally West. That's kind of where we left off. And we'll see how that develops. As everybody knows, Wally West is another iteration of The Flash. So now you have Wally West. You have Jay Garrick, and then you have Harrison Wells' daughter, who, from what I understand, not a DC expert, you guys know this, but from what I understand, she's supposed to be another iteration of The Flash as well. So overall, it was a good first half. It was very entertaining. Zoom was uh, a very amazing, it's very, very dangerous character. We still don't know who he is. I'm pretty surprised that we haven't found that out yet, considering last year, I think maybe a little bit sooner than this, we knew who Harrison Wells was. But, uh, and I'm hoping it's something that's gonna knock people's socks off because a lot of people are predicting it to be, to be either Barry or Barry's father, even Joe himself. And so if it turns out to be any one of those three, it's not gonna be a huge surprise. And I think it'll be kind of a letdown for some people. But I think overall the first half was very good. It was still very entertaining. Now that Legends of Tomorrow's out of the way, I'm expecting big things in the second half. Uh, we get to continue to see Barry's relationship develop with Patty, and if that's going to uh, play a role in terms of her being in any kind of danger. She's already been in danger once when she had to, you know, she got went after um, the weather wizard who killed her father. Then, obviously, uh, you know, we still have uh, Barry, the whole Zoom thing. We still have um, Wally West. Joe and Iris getting to know Wally. Where's where's uh, Joe's ex-wife going to play into this? So there's definitely a lot of things going on now that we can focus on them. Obviously, Harrison Wells and his daughter, how's that going to turn out? Uh, especially in terms of if this is correct on episode 11, if he returns as reverse Flash, how's that going to screw Barry's head? Uh, Jay Garrick, will he get his speed back? Will he be able to help? Uh, we have this new Firestorm. Excuse me, uh from what I understand, Firestorm from Earth 2 is supposed to be making an appearance. How's that going to translate? There's so many things, especially with this Earth 2, that now that Legends of Tomorrow and promoting that show is out of the way, I'm expecting some pretty big things in the second half from Flash, but we'll have to wait and see. January 19th is the episode debut for the second half of the season. Maybe I will do a review on that one, not sure yet, but we'll definitely be talking Flash between now and the end of the season. If you watched my update video, I will no longer be doing reviews show by show. I will be doing discussion videos on certain events that happen during the season, and I will be doing a mid-season review and discussion like I am now, and end of the season review and discussion uh, once uh, the Flash Season 2 ends. Anyway, guys, so what's your thoughts on the first half of Flash, the Zoom saga, the Harrison Wells saga, the Wally West saga, there's so many sagas going on, and uh, share in the comments below. And are you excited for the second half? Let me know, please. Until then, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.